What's up guys? Welcome back to another Beastly Garage video and no sneakers in this. Oh, actually, that's not true. We have some Travis's on, so yeah, I still got ashy knees. Anyway, I'm heading to Carson Coffee with Brandon in the G. All of a sudden, just said, I'm going with you, man. So we're going to take out this car just because the black car is so, it's clean, but it's so deep in here. I just don't feel like moving all these cars. So we're going to take this car out to the first Carson Coffee ever. Nothing else to do on this Sunday. So sit back and let's go ahead, hop in this car and, uh, Let's go to Cars and Coffee. We're off and on our way. Brandon's got the G. He is rocking the twerkless plate from the uh, from the Accord. It doesn't really apply to that car, I don't think. But hey, this is what happens when you get a personalized plate specific to a car. Then you kind of stuck with it for all your cars unless he goes and does another personalized plate. It's only about 10 minutes from us. Yeah, I'll take this all day and I can get back home and uh, kind of relax. Cause if you don't know, yesterday I went to this reggae festival at uh, like a winery and uh, it was it's fun. It's our second time going. Uh, I went last year uh, and I wore some Travis Scott highs, uh, the original mochas and destroyed those bad boys. Hey, look, hold up. There's a uh, blue Corvette. Okay, C8 pick, y'all see that? You probably can't see it, but anyway, I knew what I was getting into, and I, yesterday I decided to wear a pair of Chunky Donkeys, but I have two pairs of reps. Uh, I have some old pairs and a brand new crisp pair. So I wore the old pairs, and I think I would've been fine, but it started raining like really hard. We got flooded, so they became waterlogged, and uh, they just got really muddy and dirty, and so that's how they look right now. And I think I can actually bring those back. It really is not a big deal to me since I do have another pair. And again, they're only wraps. They're not $1,700 shoes. I like those, they're, they're kind of cool. At the end of the video, we're gonna try to clean up those dirty shoes. But after we're done with this car show stuff, I'll go home and take care of that. No, I really like this Mustang. It's a 95. I just bought a subwoofer for it. We're gonna install that soon. And uh, it's something about these old cars, man. It just got a different feel. Everything feels rugged and loud and clanky. And I just dig it, man. I dig it. There's a G. All right, guys, we are here. There ain't much going on. We got a couple cars over there. A couple cars right there. A couple cars right here and uh, us. So I don't think we're probably gonna be here too long, but since I'm here, I'll just go look at that. Some audio stuff going on. Just got some speakers in. You saw them, Brandon? Yeah, I'm like, good yeah. yeah. My car might be going bye-bye. We ain't talking about that yet in the video. I'm seriously considering actually selling both of our Mustangs and my Infinity for the one car that I really want. Brandon knows what it is, but you guys wouldn't know until I actually get it. Eh. Yeah, we saw a couple cars leaving on the way. Here, the Lamborghini. I saw, I saw a C8 Corvette. Brandon doesn't make any appearances in my videos anymore. He's so busy working. All right, guys, we are heading back home because if you want to see what these sneakers look like, they're going to come clean. So let's just get home. It's a little bit later, guys. We are back at the crib. I had to take care of some chores first, but we do have ourselves the dirty, chunky, dunky. Looked like they were in chocolate pudding. It's a mess. They're very disgustingly nasty i already have another pair so i don't really care but i would like to get these clean so we can definitely keep wearing them so i went and i pulled out my rejuvenator cleaning kit no i'm not sponsored by rejuvenator i used to be i haven't really followed up with the stuff my neighbor of course is mowing because i'm recording a video outside it's like that's the perfect timing so let's go ahead and switch it around my money don't jiggle jiggle it folds i don't know why i got that stuck in my head first thing i'm going to do is take out the shoe strings all right, shoelaces is out. Put these in here. A little bit of water soaking. I have this sneaker rejuvenator stuff here, detergent. I've used it for a long time. It's almost out. You can see I have a very little bit left. Just gonna squeeze the top and then pour it in. We got various bristles here. We got a real hard one. I don't think we're gonna use this one at all. Really soft bristle brush. And this came with another kit. And then this is like a medium brush. Tongue is, is still clean but everything is so wet. Everything is still, still so wet. I'm gonna see if I can squirt a lot of this off. Yeah. It's like cow hair. <laughs> I don't know what material that is, but it does feel like some type of animal fur. All right, so let's go ahead, get some soapy water going. Don't make me have to cut you open. I'm gonna get the last little bit out of there. There we go. Go ham on that sucker. 
Neighbor, always let the dogs out when they see me filming. Who let the dogs out? So these are actually looking good. At least the midsole is. Oh, wait up. I got something in there. Oh, I'm gonna save that one. This is the stiff bristle one. I use this for the sole. The outer sole. How about we hose it off just to get an idea how they're looking so far. Yeah. Okay, okay. Not bad. I mean, it looks good. I think it cleaned up really well. I think the, uh, the white will actually um, turn back to a lighter color once it's dry, but right now it's like a wet dog. It's got, it's got a little darker tint to it, but I don't think it's dirty because it's the same color as the tongue, which wasn't dirty at all, really. So it's, yeah, probably gonna lighten up nicely. Comparison of this shoe. This is the, this, these shoes are so heavy because they're uh, they're soaking wet. They're like, must be like five pounds a piece. But here we go. So the cow here cleaned up. Wow. Honestly, I, I kind of expected that. It's, it's really hard to like permanently stain stuff with just mud. You know, if it was like grape juice or Kool-Aid or blood or something like that, <laughs> then I'd be worried. But just mud, dirt, eh, that stuff's usually easy to wash. All right, let's take these laces out of the second shoe. Get the loose strip dirt off of it. Almost out of Rejuvenator. If you are watching this and you are from Rejuvenator, hey, hook your boy up. That bottle has probably lasted me two years and I clean my shoes all the time. I have never used the actual laundry system uh, that came with the whole package, but I do use that detergent to hand clean my shoes and it's been excellent. One thing I have noticed is since I've been wearing these shoes, especially like during the uh, summertime, the cow print is actually starting to be sun bleached. So sitting out in the sun all day with these on, it's going from like a black to like darker brown. So yeah, I'm noticing that. You can see where the cow print is covered by the shoelaces, it's still black, but up here in the front and on the sides, it's starting to get like a brown tint. It's probably gonna be the same on retail pairs. Most people aren't wearing their retail pairs enough to get to the point where the sun will actually start to fade some of the colors. Probably dry in a, in a day or so, maybe two days. Put these to the side and then let's take care of these laces. Hopefully I got just enough detergent left to clean these laces. But it, and I just use bar soap, same stuff you use on your face. If I would have let that shoe dry um, before I attempted to clean it, it probably would have been harder to clean. But since the shoe, both shoes and laces and everything were still just completely soaked, um, it's, it's way easier. As a kid, man, I could not afford new shoes all the time. Mom was not having it. I became like a professional restorer just constantly cleaning my shoes and my laces, you know, working with what I had, you know what I mean? And there you go, look, bright white laces. They're nice and clean. Our freshly cleaned, formerly muddy, chunky, donkey. Looks good. I got everything out of it. Even clean the sole. No residue from the mud on here at all. Looks good. Good. Definitely gonna wear this shoe again. I have only a little teeny bit of crease in, but uh, I wear these a lot. And here are a fresh, fresh, clean to death pair right here. The color off, yeah, maybe not. It depends on how you have the shoe. But of course the white is more of a gray right now because it is wet, but it will dry white. I have no doubt about that. The black, like I mentioned, is starting to fade a little bit on this shoe. It's starting to get become a little bit dark brown. I wanted to show you guys uh, how you can just clean and restore shoes. And it's not as bad as you think it is. Sometimes when you look down and you see something, oh my God, I ruined these shoes. No, I would not wear $1,700 to a festival where I know my shoes are gonna get trash. So I knew what I was getting into. I was not surprised at all. But it did flood yesterday during it and it rained and it was even worse, but still. Uh, I was not bothered whatsoever because this, this is why I get things like this. So I can still rock the shoe that I want to rock without any types of worries. That's it for today's video. 
and hope you had a great weekend hope you have a great next week like comment subscribe your boy is out of this joint until next time later guys Woo. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds.